Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. So a question I get a lot is, Rachel, when should I get ECT treatments? Uh, for everyone, that's different. All right. So ECT, electroconvulsive therapy. Um, I wish in my own personal life I'd had it sooner because um, they got very, very bad. And it was pretty much, I remember the first time a doctor brought it up to me, I was like shocked. I was like, what? No, never. It's crazy. It's too extreme. Um, and then about a year, a year, two years, I don't know, over a year later, um, I was so, so bad that I was actually asking my new doctor, hey, uh, something has to change. Um, ECT is, is a pretty big thing to, to, to go through and to undertake. Um, I mean, they, they put little uh, things on your head and they shock your brain um, and induce seizures and usually helps with deep depression. Um, they're not really sure how it works. That's always scares me. Someone says, we're not really sure how it works, but it does. Great. Great. Like, okay, this is how we think it works. Uh, that's also another good one. This is how we think. Like, what do you mean? You, how you think it works? You don't really know how it works, but okay. All right, I'm listening. Scared, but listening. So yeah, how they think it works. Always great to hear. Um, so pretty much you're going to figure that out in your own life. Um, I had it when I was very, very sick. I was pretty much, well, I was so deep in depression. I didn't remember even going to classes. I remember at one point being like, oh my God, did I, did I even pass this semester? Cause I had no clue what, what had happened. I was just in such a fog, um, getting up, getting out of bed, doing anything was just really, really hard. Um, things you need to keep in mind with ECT is that a lot comes with it. For one, you know, I had my, mine was six treatments over two weeks. Pretty much during that two weeks, you're going to have to have someone staying with you. Um, you're going to be kind of out of it. You can't drive during the two weeks and then longer, I think. Um, I mean, it's, it's intense. It's, it's not something to be played around with. It's not just, oh, I'm feeling kind of down, but if antidepressants and management techniques aren't working for you, then it, it may be an absolute need. If, it, if you're actively trying to hurt yourself, kill yourself, then yeah, it sounds like you, you need to take some serious steps. Um, I was given at the time two options for my doctor, either ECT or the vagal nerve stimulator. I don't really know much about the vagal nerve stimulator, even if it's pushed that much. So if any of you out there have had that and you want to comment below about your experience, that would be awesome because I really don't know. What made me choose between the two was uh, my insurance said they would cover ECT and they wouldn't cover any of the vagal nerve stimulator. So it's like, okay, well, they made that decision for me. So that's why of the two, we went with that one, me, me and my family. Um, but yeah, I had the ECT and for me, it was worth it. I got brain damage. You know, we're talking, you know, years later, I'm still having trouble reading and writing and that kind of thing, or eight years later. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still in major issues. But I'm still here. So understand there's a very good chance you'll have, you know, memory loss. Like, I remember nothing from about two, three years of my life. It, it is a blank slate. You could show me a video I made during that time. I don't even recognize myself in it. That's how weird it is. Um, my brother sent me a picture once of me in, at, at an event of his. And I'm like, I don't even know that girl. Like, it's so weird. Like, I don't remember the outfit I'm wearing, like, having ever owned it. I'm looking at it like, I would never wear that. That is so ugly. What was I thinking? So I don't know it was me. Um, like, seriously, I didn't. I was like, is that is that even me? Because it, it looks so different than me. Um, so figure out. Look at, look at your life and where you're at. Okay? And... If you're able, you know, and I hear a lot of people be like, well, I don't want to take antidepressants and they're thinking of ECT over it. I mean, seriously, going on medication sucks. That's life. I mean, I take a multivitamin every day. It escalates. Um, I'm on antidepressants every day. But um, go through, you know, some of the easier, easier forms of treatment, honestly, before, you know, you jump down the ECT route. Because, yeah, it, it's a lot. Um... And like I said, I came through a brain damage, had to relearn how to read and write. Um, I still can't do numbers and stuff eight years later. Uh, but, you know, some people have it way, way, way worse. Um, so do I think it's a great option for you when you get to a certain point? Absolutely. But it's up to you to figure out what that point is.
Um, well, I'm Rachel Starr. Um, if you're having more questions about ECT, I'm going to have some links to some videos I've done about ECT popping up. So, yeah, and obviously if you feel comfortable sharing um, your experiences in the comments below, please do that. Um, keep in mind for everyone watching and then, of course, commenting that ECT is a touchy subject. Um, a lot of people have had very bad experiences with it. Mine, good and bad, but the good far outweigh the bad. Um, obviously, keep in mind if you're commenting, you know, people being able to click on your profile, send you messages, which could be good or bad, usually bad. Um, so do, do make sure you think about those kinds of things. But yeah, I'm Rachel Starr. If you have any questions, you know, you, <laughs> I'm super slow to respond, you guys, because the whole reading and writing thing. But yes, I will slowly get to them, I promise. Uh, but you can shoot me an email, rachel at rachelstarlive.com. All right, thank you, and have a freaking awesome day, and keep powering through. Take it day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute.